With special permits and the assistance of qualified fish biologists, Beauchene Wilderness Lodge identifies and implements spawning bed and fish habitat improvement measures. Much of the effort is aimed at the further propagation of the wonderful Taggart Lake native strain of brook trout. Biologist Mark Heading will be leading a team of volunteers through the egg collection. We feel very lucky to be invited to participate in this endeavor. This week we're collecting uh, brook trout uh, from Taggart Lake, uh, located at uh, Beauchene Wilderness Lodge. It's part of a long-term monitoring program for the brook trout population. It's a wild population of fish. Uh, part of the work involves individually measuring length and weight on the uh, spawning fish that are coming in this time of year. Uh, we microchip the fish uh, so that we can get unique information on individual fish as we recapture them from year to year. In some situations, we've captured brook trout four or five times over the course of a 10-year period. And that gives us precise information on annual growth, both in terms of weight and length. That helps us understand how healthy the population is. If it's not growing strong, you know there's a problem. If it's growing strong, you know your population is very healthy. Now right here, I have a bit of structure, and, and brook trout are no different than any other fish. They like structure. I got a, a, a dead head here, or, or an old tree that's fallen down, and any time I fish brook trout, structure's what they want, and I'm gonna try over there right now. Um, I was told there were some fish rising around there earlier in the week, so I'm hoping they're gonna still be there. We've got a procedure that's pretty hammered out with the volunteers that we have working with us this week. They've all been experienced working with fish and measuring fish and taking eggs from the fish. Uh, so we start off with uh, going into the site, uh, setting up our fish cages. These are large pens that we use for holding the fish. Uh, we have usually six to eight anglers uh, that are using barbless hooks and collecting uh, brook trout uh, either just offshore where the fish are staging to get into the spawning areas or we're collecting them off the spawning areas for the purpose of getting ripe fish, ripe females and ripe males. Once we've collected the fish for the day, we go through and process them for length, weight, sex, and also to determine whether they've got a microchip in them. If they've been previously microchipped, the adipose fin has been removed. If it's a new fish that we haven't seen before, we microchip it and then remove the adipose fin for future identification. It may be next year, year after, sometimes five years out. Once we've collected the fish, gone through the measurements, then we'll continue with uh, taking the uh, eggs and milts from fish that we're targeting for uh, incubation study. Uh, so we'll usually take eggs from four to five females, uh, fertilize, allow the eggs to water harden. That's where the eggs swell up. And then from that point, we set them up in the incubators the night that we've uh, fertilized. So the next step that we have for us uh, on for tonight is actually setting up the incubators. It's quite labor intensive uh, for setting those uh, units up. It'll take probably uh, two to three hours to go through and set up the incubators for a group of six to seven people. Tomorrow, we'll take those incubators out into the lake and they're set up on strings, which have an anchor, a string about uh, 20 feet long with a float on top and then we stagger the incubators about 18 inches apart in the water column close to the outlet of the lake. And the reason why we do that is because there's always flow leaving the lake. So if you put the incubation units close to the outlet of the lake, you know you're always going to have flowing conditions and oxygen, good, good oxygen supply to the eggs as they develop over the course of the winter. If you watch how the fish develop over the course of that time period, it's not until late February that they actually hatch from the egg. And then as the lake starts warming up in April and May, they start growing very fast. And by the time we come back around Mother's Day, those fish are ready to be released and ready to start feeding on their own. Wow. 
This is just unbelievable. This one feels decent. Yeah. Boy, they're certainly hammering it. They, uh, they're going for the kill. And I've always said that about brook trout. They, uh, they're killers. They're as, every bit of a, a killer as a pike. Just hold the net out, slide the fish over, and lift up. That's all you got to do. Very nice. Brook trout. This is a microchip. It's uh, about the size of a grain of rice. Uh, we're using it for uh, putting a unique uh, code inside the fish's cheek. And this allows us to track the uh, animal's growth in terms of weight as well as length over time. Basically, it just reflects back a uh, serial number. And then this is what we use for uh, scanning. So basically, you wave the scanner over the microchip and it gives you a serial number back. Each fish has its own serial number. We've been doing this since uh, 2005 and we've got a few hundred brook trout marked here in uh, Taggart Lake. Fish on. Beautiful. This video is made possible by Fish USA, America's fly shop. Visit us today at fishusa.com.